Hi, welcome back everyone. Today is the 25th of February 2021. And I'm back today again. And today we are talk about a topic that I think a lot of you has been asking me. How do I track up invest and really how do I follow the trade? And my account has a very big loss at the moment and we are talk about that and what do I do about it or what can I do so let's get started and take a look at today's topic tracking up invest what happened recently and what's my plan I think a lot of you like to see what is my big loss so let's go through it first we are talk about how do I follow ARK INVEST, we need to understand what is ARK INVEST actually. They are founded by the CEO of Cathy Wu and there is five different funds on the ARK INVEST. You can go and research on the fund but the best performing funds is the ARKK. But this best performing fund is always invested on the high capital stock. So that may not be good for smaller retailer to follow because we can't really follow on Tesla. We can't be selling a put on Tesla. That is too heavy for a small account. And we need to understand, ARK Invest is a very long term holding. They buy a share and they hold it for long term, could be for months or for years. So as a short term trader like myself, I like to hold or trade short term, one week to two months of holding duration. This is not really in line with the ARK Invest. So we can't really follow ARK Invest directly. So we need to be very selective when we are following or tracking up invest on it. Okay, we can't buy or sell exactly as up, otherwise just buy up fund. And that is more than enough. We want to spot a time when up suddenly increase their holding in a particular stock. I have successfully traded and follow up invest on a few stock before. And NDM, Surf, TR, Tesla, Roku, Square. These are the ones that I managed to successfully follow up sometime back in last year, December till February, even, even right now. This last few days, up has been buying Tesla when Tesla dropped. And this is a classic example of buying low. And this is actually the best time to buy some stock because the stock has been coming down. But other amateur trader will just be panicking and cutting losses. And this is the worst time to cut a loss. So moving on, how do I track the ARK Invest? I actually use this website. I believe there is a better website. I'm still trying to find another better website. But at the moment, I'm using this website to track the holding on ARK and this is actually the website if we go into it then we can see the buy and sell transaction of every day so we, we can look at ARKK, ARKQ but what I did normally is I will go to the combine what I want to do is I want to take note of what is their buy and sell? So I will go to the trade under the combine and over here they will show what is their buy and sell trade. I don't actually look at the sell unless I have the stock. If I have a particular stock and I see that ARK has been selling off a lot, then I want to take a look. So just on the first screen, just on this page alone, 
I want to see a simultaneous pattern of a particular stock appearing because ARK invests in a lot of stock. I can't keep track on all the stock. So over here, we can see that they are buying BIM, TXG, Square, some of the stock I don't even know, but that doesn't matter. And then we just want to scroll through the first page to see any particular stock that come up a lot of time. Not like all this in an instant open just one time and square again. Unity, I have it. We will look at the unity in a while. So let's take a look at Square because I have not uh, noticed Square recently. So when we take a look at Square, then we can see that the ARC has bought some share, I think, this week. But that wasn't really a significant buying to me. Let's take a look at NNDM because... I have successfully traded NNDM for a long time since December when I start noticing ARK has been buying. This is the time when I first traded NNDM, I saw that the ARK bought a lot of share on this particular day. And the NNDM price has not moved. So I initiated a sell put of course, the sell put expire worthless and I get the profit from it. And if you look at my previous video, this is the time when I opened a NNDM sell put when ARK Invest has been buying it. Subsequently, I think I did another NNDM trade. Somewhere, I did another NNDM trade. And then this week, I do another NNDM. So in total, I have three trade running for NNDM and two expire worthless. And I make quite a fair bit. Because the ARC is still buying it. So when ARC buy so much of this stock, what does it tell you? It tells you that they are bullish. Of course, it's not that the stock will fly in the next two weeks or one month because ARK Invest is on the long term. But that is the kind of thing that I want to see when ARK suddenly buy into it. And let's take a look at another stock. I start noticing this stock also. In late January, then I noticed that ARK suddenly, they have a lot of holding and they sold off their holding for a long period of time. And then they start buying from late January. They buy this stock, TER. Until today, I still don't know what the stock is doing or what this company is. But let's take a look at my position on this because this is a $130 stock. So I didn't want to sell a put on it. So I, what I do is I only purchase 20 share of this TER and I did it on the 8th of February. So my average price is 129 on the 8th of February, let's take a look because I noticed this one pretty late on the 8th of February when I notice it then I and the price have not moved so I start buying the stock actually in a way I'm just trying to follow the arc in fact if we look at TER from the 8th of February 8th of February was somewhere here when I bought the stock. The stock actually did went up and then now it come back down and up. So I actually saw that 
the stock went up to 144 or 45. The high was 147. But that is the problem. I didn't know when to sell. Because if I were doing a covered call, then I could have sold a stock. So when I buy a stock, I didn't know when to sell. That is my problem. But anyway, the position was still positive. So I don't have to worry too much on it. But eventually, I wanted to get rid of all this stock that I have. Because the stock here is not generating income for me. I only have 20 share, so I can't sell a call on it. By not selling a call, my time is wasted to hold the stock unless the stock move. And let's take a look at some other trade. Let's see the Tesla. I'm sure they buy Tesla this week. Yeah, Tesla has appeared three times. And if you take a look at the Tesla, then ARK has stopped buying it when Tesla was dropping. ARK Invest is buying into it. But Tesla was a $700 stock. Then for a small account trader like myself, I can't be selling a put option because if I sell a put option, then that would use up, even if I were to sell a 600 put, that would use up about 60k of margin or less, less if we are using margin, but that will lock up 60k of my capital. So we can't be selling put on this kind of stock. So that is probably the only stock that I will hold for long term because I'm very bullish on the EV industry. So that is how I actually keep track of the art invest, but I don't track this page all the time because when I run out of trade idea or when I run out of what stock to trade, then I usually will come here and take a look at the most recent one. Because sometimes when we take a look, let's pick another stock and see. If we take a look at open, or those open only appear one time here. And when we take a look at open, then we can see the past. Okay, then they have been buying a lot also since this is a date. 4th of February, they have been buying a lot and the open price has not really gone up from 4th of February until now, that is only gone up a little bit. So we are still able to trade by selling a put, which I have. I did sell open. If you look at my trade, I did sell open. That is expiring next Friday. And I sell the open at 27 put. Right now, there's a slight profit, but that doesn't really matter. If it come down, I'll take assignment and I'll just turn around and sell a call on it. And if you look at some other stock, Unity, I have a Unity put position. Then we can see that ah, buy a lot during these two days. This is the spike that I want to see when I was tracking ARK Invest. I want to see this kind of spike. So if I can see this kind of spike, then I wanted to sell a put. So I did. I did sell a put on Unity. I have a $100 put. In fact, I made one round of Unity the last month. The put expired worthless. So now this is the second time I went in to sell a put. The position is against me right now. So I have a loss of $150 for this position. But the put is still considered out of money. So I have no worry on this. 
if it come down, I'll just take assignment and do a covered call. So this is basically how I track the investment on ARK. You can take a look at this website, caddyark.com. And if there's a better website for us to track the ARK, do let me know. I will be keen because sometimes this website was not quite up to date. So this is the website to track. Basically, there is a stock correction on the tech stock, especially the Nasdaq. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 chart first. That is the ES. In fact, when I was trading, I thought that the correction is over because we have a minor correction during the late January last month. So now we have another correction, but this correction this time was not on the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones. The correction is actually on the Nasdaq. In fact, this week, Nasdaq has a very big hit from 13,900. It has dropped below the psychological level of 13,000. It dropped to 12,780 around there before rebouncing. Right now, is above 1,300. I think 1,300 is a very psychological level. But looking at the chart, then yes, this is another support level here. And they just bounce off right at the support level. So what will happen in the next one or two weeks is anybody guess. But my guess is it should go up. That's my guess. And I'm always wrong in my guess. Okay, there's a concern over rate hike because the interest rate is at 0%. Interest rate is a very important tool for the Fed Reserve because right now interest rate is at 0% and the only way for interest rate is to go up. We all know that. But whenever there's a crisis, when there's a war, or when there's an attack on the US, and when the stock market fall. The Federal Reserve always has this ability to lower the interest rate by a quarter percent, 0 0.5 percent, to simulate the economy to bring the stock market up. But when the interest rate is at 0 percent, they don't have these tools anymore. So the investor is concerned that there's a rate hike. There's fear that in interest rate may increase. On the whole, this is how I view. If there's a rate increase, that means the economy is doing well. Then there will be a rate increase. And if the economy is doing well, a rate increase push the stock market down and eventually when People get used to it, the market will come back up. But the Fed Reserve has said that there won't be any increase on the rate for this year that we do not know. We will just have to wait and see. And then there's about the coronavirus because we are still in this COVID-19 virus stage. Do you think that the coronavirus will get worse or better? Last year, there's no vaccine. This year, vaccine is available to most of the developed country. Since I'm trading the US market, let's talk about the US market. The vaccine is available to all American and people are start taking up the vaccine. So the coronavirus won't be any worse than last year. In fact, it will get better this year when more and more people take the vaccine. So, to me, the economy is going to be better upcoming. And there's this 1.9 trillion package deal coming up. 
the 1.9 trillion will help a lot of businesses and individuals. And there have already been talked about this package that is coming up. What happened if there is no such a package? Then the stock market will crash. But that is unlikely. And we all know for certain that this package, this 1.9 trillion is going to pass through. But it was only a matter of time. This week or next week. And if the market is on the high, then we have to be very worried. Because when the market is on the high and such a deal come true, because this deal has been on top for the past few weeks, and people are expecting the deal. So if the market is on the high and this deal pass through, then there may be a market drop. Because the deal is already expected. So they can't go without the deal right now. And right now the Nasdaq has dropped at least 10% off. So when the deal come in now, even though it is expected to have the deal, I believe when the deal pass through, we can see a market rebound further up. Because now the deal will seem as a good news. That always the case in the stock market. When market come down, the stock market is down, and there's a good news, a package, even though it was already anticipated, even though it was already expected, the market will go up on a good news. But when market is on the peak, and the good news happen, the market may drop. That's how the stock market work, really. So now what is my plan? I will continue trading as usual, continue selling call on my assigned stock. I won't be opening new position until uh, existing position is closed. And now you all want to see what is my big loss. There's multiple stock has gone against me. So how much did I really lose? So if you look at the portfolio here, I open up a tons of stock on Monday, just a couple of days ago. I opened a lot of trade and most of this trade is going against me. You can see from here that actually a lot of trade is against me. I don't know about Blink. Blink, yeah, I was losing on Blink a little bit. That was a small loss. The big one, let's talk about a big loss. So Peloton. Because I sell a 135 put and right now the market is 122. So I'm actually losing about a thousand dollar on Peloton. Yes, a thousand dollar. And then on Apple, because I own the Apple stock at 136. So right now Apple is at 124 or 125. So I actually lose a thousand dollar on Apple. So there's a lot of position that's going against me right now. But I'm confident of all this. So I will just hold and let's wait to see what happened. And the good news is that the fiscal trade, FSR, I was up positive on this trade. I was up about $3,000 on this trade on FSR. So, in fact, I did a video quite some time back, two weeks ago, on FSR. You can go and watch episode 18. I was buying the FSR at about 14.85, or if I'm not wrong, yes, I bought 500 share of FSR at 14.85. So, right now, this looks like a good bet because Right now, FSR is at 22.32. I have a sell call at 25, expiring next Friday. So I may get call out on this stock, but that's fine. Because my purpose was to buy, sell a call, and let the stock get call out. If it does not, then 
and stay around this price, then next week I will sell a further call away. I won't sell a 25. I'll be selling a 30 call if I still have the stock with me. But then I won't know. We have to wait until next week. So I'll post a video on my account on the 28th of February. That will be the last day of the month of Feb. So I'll post one video. And I will show the account here. And I will show my overall profit year loss to date on 28th of February. So do stay tuned because I posted my actual account on the 3rd of January. And then at the end of January, I posted another video on my account. So I'll do that the same on the end of this month. Like I say, I don't keep my losses or hide my losses. If there's a loss on my account, I will show it. And this time round or this week, I really do have losses on my account. So I'll post this video on the 28th of February. So look out for it. And today's video was a little bit long. So I thank you for staying true with me because I touched on a lot of topics today and all this is just my opinion and my view. Don't take it too seriously. Thank you everyone and have a nice day. If you like, please subscribe to my channel.